Hi everyone, my name is Victor Gundele and I welcome you to another content uh, today on Financial Molly. Today we want to discuss amortized debt schedule with interval repayment as a typical uh, practice of a business, uh, let's say project finance, when they are trying to get funding via uh, debt funding, then there are different terms when it comes to repayment, some might be monthly, uh, quarterly, uh, semi annual and uh, annual uh, period. Then, when you need to build that into your model, you know, when you are building a typical project finance, you definitely need to be able to incorporate all this scenario into the um, model. Um, so, I've created this as an example, and please note that this is only for learning uh, purpose, right? Just for you to use this and learn it. Now, I've seen this in different model, and most times people tend to. Uh, make it look very very complicated so what i've done is i've simplified it and broken it down step by step you can incorporate this into your own uh, model but i always advise that it's always better you build your own from the scratch using this as a guide or as a learning uh tool okay so what do we have in this model monthly debt schedule repayments uh a proper layout of flags because that's more like where the magic is interval principal and interest repayment into monthly quarterly semi annual and annual period and also uh, integrated accrued capital interest expense without secularity right so we take a look at how that work so um, at times as i said most times can depend on the uh, repayment terms right and agreements um, especially on the part of accrued interest leading to secularity if you are using the average of ending period balance or you are using the beginning balance or any uh, style you are actually using okay so we have the model set start guide impute sales just use as manual uh, in uh, at coded value then linked sales gotten from another cell then formula sales. so what i've done is i just put everything into one single worksheets body calculation and the the workings so let me zoom this out now one of the uh, things i also also observe especially in typical project finance is uh, most people tend to build it on annual basis which they can be right which is definitely right now that they can be uh, because we have we are more than almost 50 years and then doing that monthly might just be exhaustive as well most times there's always a need to to just do that monthly uh, kind of thing right and i know at times they, they also tend to split it so they say maybe you know the first five years should be monthly then period after that should be annually so it depends on uh, the approach you are using but for what we have here uh month one down to month six so basically this is just a five year uh, projection so here we have the assumption and then we start with our drawdown which is the amount we are ra raising and that is 500 let me zoom out uh, that's uh, 500 million uh, currently is in naira so you can decide to also change the uh, figures to watch the currency to what is applicable then the drawdown we expect the inflow period the loan period will be over 13 months uh, 30 months then the grace period six months so what that means is for the six months so grace period we also call it moratorium period which means that for six months the company will not pay any principal repayments right and also they won't pay the interest expense now because the people that are giving you the money they also need to safeguard and also make provision for time value of money so they can only allow you to delay the principal repayments and you know when we talk about principal repayments just you saying hey i'm getting this 50 million and divide it over this particular period and you are repaying it back like that but what becomes their own benefit is the interest experts which also help them to uh, guide against uh, time value of money and inflation and all those things so what we happen is they can allow you to push the principal repayments upfront but the interest expense you cannot push that so what they will do is hey, you know what calculated during that period so most times for typical project finance because of construction going on so it's not as if the project has started generating cash flow and things like that so they always try to make sure they have that uh, grace moratorium period so they will ask you that you should calculate the interest right but it would be accrued and it will not be paid in cash so you keep so for example month one 500 million 
then you calculate the interest in period one which you are not paying so what we happen in month two because is that the 500 million will be added to the previous period interest that you calculated that you did not pay right so it becomes another uh, outstanding balance then you calculate another interest on that new balance and so it just continue like that so which means it tends to increase the uh, amount of debt that would be repaid by the time you now need to start uh, repaying back okay now for the payments period we have month so uh, one represents uh, monthly two represents quarterly three represents semi annual and four represents uh, annually so when you click on the number I just did the conditional formatting to show that but for this let's put it quarterly so you can see that my inflow period is also not starting in January right so you know, typical most um, model you just see it, they start in month one then by the time you, you you're applying it in your home model you realize that hey the model is not starting from month one then you see different things so definitely uh, i've made this not to even start in month one so starting in march you can also update it automatically so here our uh, interest expense per month five percent then general input just some time general timing thing so months in a month a year monthly quarterly semi annual and annual period okay now to the section two i said i just put the inputs and the calculation into one worksheet so i will also make this worksheet available for you so that you can check it and uh, use this for your own uh, learning so beginning balance you have your new balance you had your accrued ex interest expense and then the principal repayment then you have your ending balance now to my previous explanation on the accrued interest and how it works so the loan is coming in in this current month march right which is what we have here now what we happen is you are going to calculate so below here you have you see the interest tax so you calculate the interest on that 500 million which gives you two two million right so then which means the debt you are going now becomes 502 so this 502 comes in here then in year the following months you also calculate your interest on the beginning balance so assuming it's more like a fixed uh, project so where they are drawing down different depths different period uh, so that means another depth might come in which will also be added to what you had initially for you start doing your repayment now uh, you can see now that we calculate it on the 502 and not longer on the 500 so that's more like what interest accrued is saying and by the time at the end of the uh, when the repayment is starting you see now it becomes 513 and this 513 now becomes the new actual debt that we need to now start paying okay so most times you see that you have construction period then you have your operating period uh, like that so you can take your time as i said i will share this with all so that you'll be able to take your time and also uh, look through now here is the principal repayment and this is where the uh, magic has been done whereas so if you look at this our principal repayment so the payment is starting after after what after the accrued period after the moratorium period so our moratorium period is six months so which means from march down to august and that end and then they said it will be paying quarterly so which means your first payment when there won't be anything in the first cut in the start then the first quarter then you start paying and you just see like that the how that kind of let me zoom down so that you see the movement now that you are paying quarterly okay if we decide to change this to to monthly if we decide to change this to monthly or you just see how that's automatically uh, laid out right then if you want it to be quarterly you see the quarterly uh, same here so you see same here so for so that you can see it clearly let me make this january so if you make it january right so once this end so the first payment will come in at the end of the first uh, semi annual which becomes december uh, like that and you just continue then the next one will come you need to pay in june then the next one you need to pay in december and like like that and if it is annual you click on this annual and you can just see it automatically just uh, flow like that so let me put this back as i said uh, it's always good when you are building something like this you use a mid um, month period so that you are sure that everything is working perfectly now here uh, this is where the, you have more of the, the main magic so 
or what you have in your schedule are just linked to the comp computed calculation and you can see just very very simple straightforward uh, formula right okay now this way we have the timing right where everything is working so calculation of our principal repayments you can see our grace period uh, flag uh, grace period end flag you also need that in your calculation repayment start flag and you can just see how that automatically flew then your loan period you also see the flag as well then your total as initial outstanding debt so this is what uh, this calculation is what is helping us uh, not to have circularity with our interest accrued but as I said, uh, there could be cases where your interest is being calculated on your ending balance in any particular period as against using your beginning balance plus the new debt. So if you are using the ending balance, uh, you have no option to definitely give rise to circularity. But if you are using the beginning plus the new debt, then you might be able to boycott the uh, the circularity part. As I said, I'm going to share this with you with us so that you'll be able to use that as well now uh, currently this model is based on uh, amortized repayment so there are cases where you have different type of repayment that can happen that can occur right so you can have your bullet repayment uh, you can also have your uh, amortized repayment you can have your equal repayment then you can also have your sculpted uh, repayment which you also need to be able to add uh, some model so this is what we have here and i said i've split them so most time you look at a model and you see that they just lump everything into one uh, formula so this just make it easy so you have your monthly here being calculated you have your quarterly you have your semi annual you have your annual calculated separately and then this just automatically pick uh, which period is applicable and feed that into the into the schedule so the same thing for the interest expense as well what's the monthly rate or the quarterly rate semi annual annual rate and based on the payment period selection this just automatically pick that and then the timing flag for the uh, switch of between those dates right for the calculation if it's monthly if it's quarterly semi annual so you can see what uh, it's been laid out here right and for the principal repayment i just use a typical uh, pmt then with the addition of uh, some simple simple flag tweets okay so uh, I will share this so that you can have access to it. If you check the link uh, to this video, I'm sure you. Will. So I will I will add the link to this uh, workbook so that you can access it and use this for your own learning. Once again, my name is Victor Gundele, and please remember this is just for learning uh, purpose alone. All right, um, learning purposes or learning purpose alone. So thank you, and be good.